Hi. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Is that a real word? Yeah, that's hi in Chinese. Ni hao. Right? Isn't it hi? Do you speak English? Yes. Ni hao is hi, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hello. And then shi yes. shi. Like if she gives you something, you say shi shi, right? Yes. Yeah. Are you a photographer or something? Yeah. Yeah, we're filming. Yep. Right. Thank you. All right, thank you. Shi shi. Ni hao. Ni hao. Hi, as you can see, this is a brake line straight from a spool. Here at Mirror Groups, we've designed a tool to make it easy. Simply feed it through until you hit it, and you have yourself a straight brake line to put on the car. And where can they find this at? Uh, you can find this through your local Matco, Cornwell, or Mac dealer. All right, you guys, we got a jam-packed show today. We're going to be checking out SEMA. We're going to be looking at the latest and greatest tools, gear, and equipment that we can find for all of you mechanics, gearheads, and car lovers out there. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into today's video. You want me to repeat from Ecoplug or we're out? Yeah, no, just repeat it. That's okay. Fine. That worked out. You tell me when you're ready. All right, three, two, one, go. This is Ecoplug. It's a threadless, magnetic powered oil drain plug that installs magnetically in one second to retain motor oil and removes magnetically to drain oil. Is this a temporary plug? This is a permanent solution to oil leaks. Le thread damage, and as an upgrade to a traditional threaded oil drain plug. Where do you get it at? You can buy it at Walmart, all right? You can buy it on Amazon, walmart.com, ecoplugsystem.com. Uh, we'll be in AutoZone in June of 2020. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. This, guys, is shock straps. This is the strap that saved my life. I say that, I mean it 100%. Here's the guy that invented it. Bought the company, I cheated. But about 18 years ago, I bought four. That's mine. That's mine. So I, it's 18 years old. I never broke one. Seven years ago, I went to replace them. My four is a gift. Found out the owner died and I bought the company. So until I did testing, I've never broken a shock strap. Okay. Yeah, so that's, that is no my claim. Yeah. But now, Fred, there's something that you want, I want you to tell about the, the actual... Yeah, and so on the webbing, all you have choices on webbing. Typically, it's nylon or polyester for, for decent straps. The trouble with nylon, which most straps are now, it's less expensive. Nylon stretches 40% of its body weight. That's the real reason you stop at a gas station and thump your webbing and give it a couple clicks. And it's loose. It's loose. And the reason it's loose, it's not coming off the spindle of your ratchet. I hear people give me lots of excuses. It's the webbing. So even when your load shifts, it's jarring the webbing and eventually you tighten it up. I use polyester. Polyester stretches at most 20%, but it has some other attributes. Okay. On a 1 to 10 scale, it's an 8 for UV and abrasion, where nylons are 2. So most of the straps you buy at the big box stores, they don't last very long, and there's a reason. All right, so what are we looking at today? So we're looking at the regrips. An easy way to put a, a new grip on that lever, lever handle tool, anything like that. So I use it. You look for the little arrow on the inside of the, the coil. I don't know if you can see that or not, but this little arrow, you want to point it towards the bottom of the handle. You slide it over your grip, or over your handle, hold it in place with one hand, there's a little tab, pull on the tab, and as the coil unwinds, it retracts around the handle. It doesn't have to be circular, it can be square, it's going to conform to whatever the shape is. So you can use this on pipe wrenches? Pipe wrenches, you know, for automotive it's good for like uh, the floor jacks. Um, especially in two different spots where the because a lot of the floor jacks fling up it'll protect the, the doors of the cars um, and you know any kind of handle uh, tools hammers where are they going to find it at they will find these at uh, home depot and our website regrip.com in uh, three different sizes small medium large there's a diagram in the back you know which one to, to use all right 
anywhere. Nobody's ever seen this before? Nope, first time here at SEMA. When is it coming out? So, Can you tell me what makes this better than the other stuff? Like sure, Stan. First of all, uh, it's powered by Aurora Heating Technology. Aurora is a well-known manufacturer of these products, and we are on a license arrangement with them. So they're going to manage the sales for us and the program. So it's a heated line. It's going to start out with four or five options. It's a 7.5 volt system, low profile batteries. The batteries also function as a way of keeping your your phones charged or any other devices that you might have. It'll start with a vest, a hoodie, a jacket. It'll have a fleece in, in it, as well as uh, eventually be having uh, the, uh, the uh, canvas style uh, material as well. Very durable, and um, starting to it'll begin to ship. It'll begin to ship on. Uh, December, December 1st, but you can see it has the gear wrench brand here, the button on off and on, of course the gear wrench logoing. Uh, really a high product, high quality. Pretty cool. So where is it? Well this one's working right here. Let's see if we have an idea. Uh, so let me take a feel. That's just getting warmed up from this morning. Oh man. Okay, so that's kinda of optimal for like UTVs like that. Yeah, anything. So let's go over here. We just have one. So we just Okay, so what are we looking at? So you're looking at the all new AT hot box. It plums into the coolant system on your car, which typically runs 180 to 200 degrees. Plumb right into your coolant line, circulates water through a cooling coil inside. Okay. It heats the pan up like a crock pot. So in about two to two and a half hours, you can cook a couple pounds of prime rib, chicken, or just warm stuff up. While you're out playing, you stop, it's warm and ready to go. You're literally telling me you can cook food off from the coolant system of your car safely? Yep. And that's what this does? That's what it does. It's like a portable <laughs> crock pot. It's cool. Huh? This is it right here. You can throw stuff in in cans. You can throw stuff in in just its factory packaging. It's not hot enough to melt that. You cook in Tupperware, Ziploc baggies, almost anything you can think of. Where do guys find this at? At the ATHotbox.com. What are we looking at now? Yeah, right, Stan. Sometimes the most simple ideas are the best. I came across a technician one time that used uh, egg crate foam in order to organize their tools, and I said, you know what? If we improved upon the profile of this as we did here by using pyramids, we can put tools in any direction, and it'll hold them securely in place and allows the technician to put the tools in the box, keep them quiet, and then you can see here you can cut it down to different sizes. It keeps them in place. It keeps them quiet. And it doesn't lock them into a particular assortment. He can change it and move things the way they want to move. It's a cheap and effective way to set up your toolbox and make it look really professional. All right, so what do we got new by Cargo Glide? Wall slide system for your van. No more getting inside your van. So you can bring everything out to you? Everything comes out to you. And you have a powered system as well, right? Yes, we do. One touch buttons. Now this works for trucks as well? Yes, we have the same system for being for, for any truck. I mean, you can pull the top out also? No, I don't think so. I was thinking about the same thing. Wow. Yeah. Now you got a covered workspace from all That's the weather. Cool. Now you're covered. That's cool. Now you're covered. And the floor comes out. And this is by who? Cargo Glide. How do you guys find it? CargoGlide.com. Alright you guys, you gotta check out this new light from Gear Wrench. It's magnetic, allows you to pop it up, angle it however you want, plus it's waterproof. And it's also got a hook on the bottom. So you can hook it as well as stick it.
Jack Air from Zendex Tool. A very fast lifting jack from three and a quarter to 20 inches. And how, how much is that? This will lift 3,600 pounds with the top of the throat. Side lifting, getting to the crew. Where can guys get it? Right? You can go to GenXTool.com or any one of our distributors. Just search for the GoJack Air. And just when you didn't think it could get cooler, we've got a red Jeep with giant monster black wheels, which is kind of awesome, but looking right next to it. Look at that. Bad in blue, people. Bad in blue. We have three samples of flex blue. The flex yellow blue. Three samples of flex blue. Man, flex oh blue. man. I don't even know what this is, but it is cool. I have no clue what that is. Is that seriously a yeah, I over engineer. So this is a 3,000 pound strap. That's how I market it. It's 4,000 pound polyester. I do. I over engineer everything. My 10,000 pound straps that U.S. military helped me design okay. are 12,000 pounds. I was just going to ask you, aren't you doing something for the military? I am. Designing straps oh my gosh. For them? It's, well, I'm selling the commercial use by the end of the year or first of the year, but I now have my NSN numbers. So that's your national stock number, um, and I'm on FedMall. The military can buy my straps today, right now, without ever talking to me. And they do. It's okay. pretty exciting. Okay, so and you're using that same technology that they say is okay, right? And now you're selling it to the average guy. Yes, that's a huge thing. Cause, oh my gosh! I mean, honestly, you guys, I I'm done. This is it for me. Where can these guys find them? Fred? Well, I've got about 1,100 dealers, but in the big picture, that's just not enough. There's the dealer web site button on my website, but you can also buy them directly from me at shockstrap.com. Shockstrap oh, hey, get the longer straps. Fred, I'm gonna tell you, more than once I've cussed your name out. I sell I sell extra straps if you need them. <laughs> yeah, the Polaris sells me in this version right here yep. in red, but they sell my seven foot version to all their dealers. You need the I also straps. sell fifteen. What's the foot? longer? 15, 15, 15 yeah. In, the, in your industry, it's fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. That's the one to get for sure. All right, thanks, Fred. And then when I'm done. Take my tools and my tool mat, I leave. Okay, so let's start over. I'll give you a three, two, one. Three. Are we doing this? Two. I'm doing this? Yeah. <laughs> one, go. Yeah. Go ahead. So, magnetic tool mat, you put your tools on there that I temporarily need to use. Then, when I'm done, I can put my tools away and my tool mat. And you can slip, stick that right on the side of your of car. Of a vehicle, right on the bumper or on the side of your uh, toolbox. And they find it where? Master Magnetics. Easy to use, easy to do. So this is the Go, what is this one called Al? This is the Go Jack model 5211. done and you want to get the go jack off flip that lever down that's it roll it out put the lock in and you're good to go and you simply put it on your storage cart when you're done Fast and easy. Huh. Work smarter, not harder. Dude, That's the key. That is just what? Before your headlights, it will detect deer and pedestrians. So 3,000 feet in front of you, it can detect it? And then it's what does well, it do? It's it's doing something. It's like detecting okay, something. So if it detects something, does it like... It will detect the heat signature like 3,000 feet away, maybe even more, because this is a pretty much like zoomed in camera. It can match your speed if you are going 60 miles, How does it miles alert you? And once it's closer, 400 feet, it will basically tell you. Because the deer that I hit are usually in the woods, and then they just run out and pale themselves. Oh, I hear it. That's what you hear, basically. Wow, so you don't need to necessarily have a screen? 
Uh, well, actually you do because it's not gonna give you the warning before. It's like the warning of the protection. See this person? These are detecting people. That's the artificial intelligence software. So what's the price point on something like this? So what we're trying to do is all this technology is in Bentleys, high-end BMWs at the OE level. We want to bring it to the aftermarket level at a price point you can afford. Plus, we all know our dealers, right? In this automotive industry, we're looking for new ways to differentiate. How do we go from the guy who had a hobby and had a shop, turn into a business, and now he wants to go into the next generation of automotive? What is the price point? This is a $1,200 entry price. Yeah, what we have here is a new line of torque wrenches we introduced earlier this year. This is what we would call the 120 platform. So it uses the 120 gearing mechanism that we have today for ultra fine three degree access. But what we did is we added other features to it like an all steel handle, a butt on the end here that gives you a nice support on the backside, a quick adjusting, high speed, uh, and, and very visible scale here. So you can see that you get a really nice feed on that. A high precision product, it's up to 3% accuracy, which is one of the best in the industry right now. In addition to the micrometer, we also have an electronic version of the same wrench, featuring the, the three degree offset 120, that gives you that access. And now we've got a screen that allows you, when you're when applying torque, I can get it to I can get it to a torque limit and it'll it'll vibrate and light. It does both. It vibrates. Take a look here. So it vibrates, it makes a noise, and it lights up as red. So it, it turns green when you're when it, or red when it when you just pass torque. The other benefit to this is it also includes angle at no additional charge. So you can do torque. And then you can go the additional angle, which is the additional degrees you need, say 30, 40, 50 degrees, as specified by the bolt. And it'll tell you on here if you're at that rate or where you are in that angle. All right, you guys, that's our video for today. And a big thank you goes out to Gear Wrench because without their help, these videos are not possible. They help get me into the show. And when I ask them, is there anything specific you guys want me to film? They say, Film whatever you think is going to help your audience. They give me complete free range, and that's pretty awesome. So thank you, Gear Wrench guys. And they're a phenomenal group of people to work with. Literally, honestly, guys, behind the scenes, the Gear Wrench team is so flipping cool. I love being a part of that organization. Now, I also love going to these shows and checking out the newest tools, gear, and equipment and bringing that to you guys because I know you guys can't get out to all these different shows. So here's what's coming up. We've got World of Concrete in Vegas coming up. I'm going to be there. Good Lord willing, it doesn't snow. We've got Con Expo in March, which is huge. I'm going to be there. And I'm asking you a favor. Is there any other shows that I probably don't know about that I should attend? So if there's something in your back of your mind you think would be a cool show, I don't care if it's cars, tools, heavy equipment, machinery, just put it in the comments down below. And that's all I got for you today, guys. God bless. Go get them and do me a favor. Check out the video I'm going to pop up here. And the other one I'm going to pop up here, hit the subscribe button. Please tell your friends. That goes a long way. Hit the like button and all that cool stuff. That's it. That's it for today, guys. We'll see you on the next one. God bless. Go get them again.